It would be the equivalent, obviously, of being in a bar and going up to this one. No, this one, no, this one. Well, so what, just try to think of it that way. But that's what so much of this, you know, social dating is yeah. for, you know, for people. You're just, you know, you're swiping. You've seen a lot of the same faces. And so... Anyway. Sometimes they call it speed dating. I mean, yeah. like they, you know, they have these mm -hmm. things. That's they the say positive that approach. I like that. Uh, hey, it trying to. Sounds much better, doesn't it? Does sound better than avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the parade here over in Covington. So uh -huh. we're talking rain this weekend. The parade kicks off at 7 o'clock. When is it going to be raining tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, there still could be a little wet weather around through about night, 7 sorry. or 8 in the morning. By evening, it should be fine out right. there. Maybe turning a little cooler, but still, for a February weekend, it's going to be relatively mild around here for us. Here's a look at radar. You've got a great evening ahead of you. In fact, let's just call it a great night overall, because unless you're out 3, 4 a.m., you're going to avoid any rain here earlier tonight. We've got a developing storm system to our west tonight. It doesn't look like much right now, but this warm front will actually send a wave of rain potentially even a few rumbles of thunder before the sun comes up first thing tomorrow morning in our direction. It's in and it's out, so it's not like it's going to be a, you know, a washout to your weekend by any stretch. Look at temperatures, very mild. Again, it is early February and most of us today topped out in the low 60s and that's just about where we are for the most part right now. But those clouds that have rolled in, we're starting to settle our way back into the upper 50s in a lot of neighborhoods. But with the combination of the cloud cover on the increase tonight and a southerly component to the wind, we stay very mild. It will be a very comfortable evening for us. Let's time out the rainfall here. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's pretty much quiet before midnight and really quiet through about 3 a.m. 3, 4 a.m. for most of us. Here's 3 o'clock. Take you towards 5. Here comes rain with some embedded rumbles of thunder. And while I'm not worried about severe weather with this, there could be a stronger storm potentially that could try to skirt across our extreme southern communities in Kentucky. But the better threat for severe weather, honestly, is even farther south. But I can't rule out a little thunder in here again. There's 7 a.m. and notice by 8, we're already drying out and the rest of your Saturday should be pretty nice into Saturday afternoon and evening. Maybe not bright and sunny, but at least it will be dry after the morning rain. So here's a live look outside right now. Not doing too bad. 58 degrees officially. There's that south breeze at 10. Here's a look at your 12 hour forecast. And this is what I'm talking about here. Very mild tonight, staying in the 50s most of the night with those rain chances really not moving in until about 3 or 4 a.m. All right, let's jump past the weekend and get into early next week because we've been talking about this for about a week or so now that while we've enjoyed relatively mild conditions, it still appears winter is going to make a comeback. As we start early next week, we're keeping a close eye on a Monday Tuesday system with confidence increasing that we start with some rain and then end with some form of an accumulating snow here that will all depend on the exact track, but more evidence is supporting some wintry weather with accumulations Monday night into Tuesday. So stay tuned. Rain before dawn, 50 overnight. Tomorrow, some early morning rain, then drier. Again, a nice afternoon at 60. Temperatures will drop into the 50s in the afternoon as that cool front comes through, but it will be dry by then. Here's your seven-day forecast. All right, Sunday will be a little cooler, down to around 50 for an afternoon high, but that's still not bad for this time of the year. And then there's your weather impact days, Monday into Tuesday again. And all signs continue to point, Mike and Sheree, that even long range, it's going to get cold for the middle and second half of the month. Kevin, thanks so much. I want to give you a quick update on that crash that we told you about as breaking news.